on his website, New Gingrich talks about some reasons that he's against the Islamic Center, and he uses some examples of terrible things that Muslims have done in America. One of them is honor killings. He calls it a disturbing trend, and you, that's a common theme you see with anti-Muslims and uh, people, people who don't like Islam. They, they talk about honor killings being a, a problem in the Muslim world. Well, they're, 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 it's actually uh, very blown out of proportion. Um, it, it, yes, they happen, but it's, it's so extraordinarily rare that it's very unfair to even bring it into the conversation because it's not representative of the culture at all. Uh, there are really crazy things that happen in, in every culture if you go broad enough. Here in the Americas, uh, including North and South America, we have all kinds of crazy things happen, and many of them done by Christians or, or others. Uh, Gingrich's article, he, he points to um, fashion magazine Marie Claire as his source of uh, talking about this being a disturbing trend. Well, the article in the fashion magazine only mentions one case. So a trend of one is not a trend. There's one case where a deranged father kills his daughter because he doesn't like her dating and going out with people. Uh, a tragedy. Uh, big question about whether he really thought his religion did it or he was just a crazy person. But either way, it's not representative of anyone else other than that case. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny number uh, relative to the overall number of thousands and thousands of people who are killed by their brothers, fathers, uh, husbands, ex-husbands. It's a sad thing, but domestic violence is a reality. There's hundreds of thousands of cases of domestic violence in the United States. Uh, more women are killed here by domestic violence than almost anywhere in the world. And there's no evidence whatsoever that more domestic violence is done uh, by Muslims or in the name of religion um, than, than anyone else. It's, um, it's just very discriminatory and it's sad to take these cases of, of extremely isolated things where one crazy Muslim does one crazy thing and it's somehow held out as national news or held out as an excuse to uh, take the rights from other Muslims. It's, it couldn't be more un-American. And it's, we should all take the responsibility of getting real hard, cold facts. If you show me any culture or religion where you can statistically prove that they are more dangerous uh, than others, then uh, I'd be pretty surprised. But until then, let's, let's all look at logic rather than uh, incendiary emotion.